two ways that you can do a section cut in Revit. You can either come up to this uh, shortcut icon here, and you can activate the command that way. Or if you go into the view menu, uh, right under that, there's a section button there. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that section button. And then it's going to give us the option to click on two points to draw our section marker. So we can, let's say, click on the left side here and drag it to the right. Uh, and you can see the arrows are pointing up. So that's the direction the section will look. If you want it the other way, you can drag it the other way or you can mirror it after it's in. So once you do that, click there. It's going to give you your section cut there. And then to access that view, uh, the way that I like to do it is just double click that arrow there. And it brings you to this incomplete cross section. But you get the point there. So you can take it and drag it all around. Uh, this dash box represents how far the section is looking. So for example, you can see it extends beyond the outside wall. So when we look at that section, we can see those windows. But if we go back in here and select that section cut and just drag this box back so that it's not beyond those windows there, and we go back to that section cut, we can no longer see those windows because it's not looking that far. Select it there. You can just the double arrows here that you can use to flip right there. You can click the circular arrows there to change the head and tail on it. Um, you can change that to select that to flip it, select that to break it. And you know, if you don't want that line to go all the way across your floor plan, a lot of options there. Check them all out, but that's how you do it.